It was the experience of mystery, even if mixed with fear, that engendered religion. The unleashed power of the atom has changed everything save our modes of thinking and we thus drift toward unparalleled catastrophe. All that is valuable in human society depends upon the opportunity for development accorded the individual. Our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. I think and think for months and years. 99 times, the conclusion is false. The hundredth time I am right. He who joyfully marches to music in rank and file has already earned my contempt. He has been given a large brain by mistake, since for him the spinal cord would suffice. If you are out to describe the truth, leave elegance to the tailor. Nationalism is an infantile disease. It is the measles of mankind. True art is characterized by an irresistible urge in the creative artist. Everyone should be respected as an individual, but no one idolized. Time is what prevents everything from happening at once. It is strange to be known so universally and yet to be so lonely. If we knew what it was we were doing, it would not be called research, would it? I am not only a pacifist but a militant pacifist. I am willing to fight for peace. Nothing will end war unless the people themselves refuse to go to war. Politics is for the present, but an equation is for eternity. Anger dwells only in the bosom of fools. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. Joy in looking and comprehending is nature's most beautiful gift. Confusion of goals and perfection of means seems, in my opinion, to characterize our age. God does not play dice. God may be subtle, but he isn't playing mean. Whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. People love chopping wood. In this activity one immediately sees results. Perfection of means and confusion of ends seem to characterize our age. When the solution is simple, God is answering. The pursuit of truth and beauty is a sphere of activity in which we are permitted to remain, children, all our lives. Love is a better teacher than duty. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning, it is my conviction that killing under the cloak of war is nothing but an act of murder. If people are good only because they fear punishment, and hope for reward, then we are a sorry lot indeed. You can't blame gravity for falling in love. Anyone who doesn't take truth seriously in small matters cannot be trusted in large ones either. Before God, we are all equally wise, and equally foolish. I do not believe that civilization will be wiped out in a war fought with the atomic bomb. Perhaps two-thirds of the people of the earth will be killed. One strength of the communist system of the East is that it has some of the character of a religion and inspires the emotions of a religion. When you are courting a nice girl an hour seems like a second. When you sit on a red-hot cinder a second seems like an hour. That's relativity. I know not with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. We still do not know one thousandth of one percent of what nature has revealed to us. The fear of death is the most unjustified of all fears, for there's no risk of accident for someone who's dead. The environment is everything that isn't me. Whoever undertakes to set himself up as a judge of truth and knowledge is shipwrecked by the laughter of the gods. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. The monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind. I believe that a simple and unassuming manner of life is best for everyone, best both for the body and the mind. Imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. I want to go when I want. It is tasteless to prolong life artificially. I have done my share, it is time to go. I will do it elegantly. Without deep reflection, one knows from daily life that one exists for other people. The devil has put a penalty on all things we enjoy in life. Either we suffer in health or we suffer in soul or we get fat. If I were not a physicist, I would probably be a musician. I often think in music. I live my daydreams in music. I see my life in terms of music. Only a life lived for others is life worthwhile. The hardest thing to understand in the world is the income tax. Nothing is more destructive of respect for the government and the law of the land than passing laws which cannot be enforced. God always takes the simplest way. Morality is of the highest importance, but for us, not for God. The only reason for time is so that everything doesn't happen at once. That deep emotional conviction of the presence of a superior reasoning power, which is revealed in the incomprehensible universe, forms my idea of God. I am enough of an artist to draw freely upon my imagination. 
I cannot imagine a God who rewards and punishes the objects of his creation and is but a reflection of human frailty, I do not believe in the God of theology who rewards good and punishes evil. I shall never believe that God plays dice with the world. He who joyfully marches to music in rank and file has already earned my contempt. He has been given a large brain by mistake, since for him the spinal cord would suffice. Knowledge of what is does not open the door directly to what should be. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge but imagination. Information is not knowledge. It's not that I'm so smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. Imagination is more important than knowledge. The difference between stupidity and genius is that genius has its limits. It is the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy and creative expression in knowledge. There comes a time when the mind takes a higher plane of knowledge but can never prove how it got there. Intellectuals solve problems, geniuses prevent them. I never think of the future, it comes soon enough. The attempt to combine wisdom and power has only rarely been successful and then only for a short while. We should take care not to make the intellect our god it has, of course, powerful muscles, but no personality. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. You ask me if I keep a notebook to record my great ideas. I've only ever had one. Most people say that it is the intellect which makes a great scientist. They are wrong, it is character. It gives me great pleasure indeed to see the stubbornness of an incorrigible nonconformist warmly acclaimed. Only one who devotes himself to a cause with his whole strength and soul can be a true master. For this reason, mastery demands all of a person. The distinction between the past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Reading, after a certain age, diverts the mind too much from its creative pursuits. Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. The only thing that interferes with my learning is my education. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. It is a miracle that curiosity survives formal education. Intellectual growth should commence at birth and cease only at death. To raise new questions, new possibilities, to regard old problems from a new angle, requires creative imagination and marks real advance in science. Most of the fundamental ideas of science are essentially simple, and may, as a rule, be expressed in a language comprehensible to everyone. It stands to the everlasting credit of science that by acting on the human mind it has overcome man's insecurity before himself and before nature. The whole of science is nothing more than a refinement of everyday thinking. Science is a wonderful thing if one does not have to earn one's living in it. The grand aim of all science is to cover the greatest number of empirical facts by logical deduction from the smallest number of hypotheses or axioms. The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art in science. The man of science is a poor philosopher. Only two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity and I'm not sure about the former. No amount of experimentation can ever prove me right a single experiment can prove me wrong. Science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. The only source of knowledge is experience. The gift of fantasy has meant more to me than my talent for absorbing positive knowledge.